Somebody put your hands together for the most high God. For the Lord is risen. What? This announcement is from the convention committee. As per the convention committee, As per the committee, um, some have still not returned their key cards, uh, which translates that they've not checked out yet. Uh, and so they are strongly urging each and every one that if you still have your key cards with you, which means you've still not checked out, then please, and a big please, see them at the um, desk, convention committee desk, to really turn in your key cards. Yes, Ramwa. And Safuano, Ada, so would you panu be hornum? Safuano be or how one found Koya, Yabra, so see a dormant Safua Maomo, and to Saudi or Hornomwa. Yes, Robo Modena for Koma, no more for Fiora, dear Mano. Again, as per the Chief Osher Bramensa, there are so many people at the back without chairs, yet there are empty seats in between. And so if you know or you see a seat be in front of you which is empty, please move into that seat so that they can properly arrange from the back. If there is an empty seat in front of you, please accept the reserved seat. Uh, other than that, if there is any empty seat in front of you, kindly move into that seat. Yes, Ramwa. And Konya added them fifteen. Tin ye can say, Who didn't kind bar, Brawenim? Now Obi or Babetre, no, no, so I at nature, and Konyano and fifteen home at the hall. Any punning in Arco Guetre, Obi bar. Now if a fair prima mintras, the prima mintras in Tino, Mumra Mwenim, now all my Betre, no son Konyano, a Guama, or Yadamwasi. Thank you so much. There are individuals here that we need to celebrate. 
for the wonderful work that uh, they have done, continue to do for the church. And so church, I will ask you to uh, help me celebrate our elders. Shall we have the, our elders? Yeah, please, please, please be on our feet. Please be on your sorry. feet. Please be on. Ah, yeah. Put your hands together for our elders. These are uh, wonderful individuals that uh, over the years they continue to commit and dedicate their time, energy, effort on behalf of the church. God bless you. Uh, we also want to celebrate our area leaders. The women's movement area leader and some of her executives are here. Please, why don't you be on your feet so we can celebrate you. God bless you. God bless you. We also have um, an area leader all the way from Ghana, the Obuasi area women's, Obuasi area women's leader in the person of Dickness Grace Bedu. Why don't you celebrate um, This is in no particular order. We want to celebrate our uh, uh, pastors. Uh, first and foremost is our Reverend and Mrs. Uh, Jehu Apia from New Jersey. Why don't we celebrate them? And then we also have uh, Pastor Ado and Mrs. Ado in the house. Pastor, Pastor Ado, Ado, let's Mami celebrate Ado. them. Let's celebrate them. We also have Dr. Elder Ba Achamfo and the wife in the house. Let's Dr. celebrate them. Let's Mami celebrate them. And, and then Pastor Ado and Mrs. Ado also in the... Beidu. Pastor Beidu. Pastor <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have uh, Pastor Abuaji and uh, Mrs. Abuaji in the house. Let's uh, celebrate Abuaji them. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Also, we have uh, Pastor Kwesi Nyako and Mrs. Nyako in the house. Let's Pastor celebrate Nyako them. Let's celebrate Nyako them. And then you have me also, yours truly. Yours uh. truly and my beloved. We are also in the house. Hi, Pastor Broni, one in the Broni, and a bye. We have the um, New England sector head in the person of Pastor Samuel Ampon and uh, Mrs. Pastor Ampon. Ampon in the and, house. Oh, my, I'm the dead, dead, oh, and then, last but not the least, we have the New York Metro sector. Woo! Yeah, Papa Jeremy, sir. Agbena. Agbena. The New York Metro, <laughs> Metro sector, Pastor Jerry Mensa and Mrs. Mensa in the house. Mame, and Let's and celebrate them. Amen. Woo. Amen. Akbena. Akbena. We shall take our Thanksgiving offering. Yebeji, yenasi aforie. And so we would ask the praise team to come. And you to follow. Mumrai, Mojumasu, and you want to form Mojumedruho. Out Arjun, Out Arjun. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sorry. I saw him Christo Mumani Denso. I saw him, I saw him, I saw him Christo Mumani Denso. Oh, your hin, oh, your hin. Ah, na he did an abeti so. What my friend who said, oh, my man. Beja, 
Can do better than that. Please put your hands together for our sister. God bless you. God bless you. We are about to listen to the word of God, the exposition on our theme for today. But before then, we would invite um, the mass choir to come and minister unto us. Why don't you put your hands together? This is the weakest hand clapping I ever heard. And somebody you're free now, mommy and fama kwa. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. And all the time. We want to minister unto our God. Amen.
So God is about to minister to you in a very special way. From Friday, he's been speaking to us in various ways and forms. But he's about to speak to you in a different dimension all over again this morning. And therefore, I want you to place value on the word of God that is about to be released. Therefore, let us try as much as possible to find a place to sit. Apart from, apart from the ushers, there shouldn't be any form of movement whatsoever. So please let movement cease. And let's find a place to sit. God is about to unlock something in your mind and in your spirit that you have never experienced before. Your readiness is important. I'm still waiting on those at the back to find a place to sit. Amen. Pastor Jeremiah Nibote Mensa. Ni Amate. Ni Amate Mensa. I knew that every girl must be a knee. I didn't know it was a knee, but I knew that every girl must be a knee. Alias. A man that is appointed, approved, and anointed of the Holy Spirit. And his ministry has been a blessing from day one. Therefore, this morning, God has. Send him into us and into our midst to come and deliver a specific message to us. 
enti anopei onyame asma no se omra na od na sam sunku bi ahye na no se omra no meka nkyere me therefore i want you to be ready enu ti yenye kra do wa obetro no fa pan paper church without much ado please stand with yeah, me yen sorry yen fan sem boni dede ye let us o ma yen pon tete am standing ovation yenye dede I said ovation, ovation, ovation. The depart, the anointing. Welcome the New York Metro sector head, Woo! Pastor Jerry Nibotemensa. God bless you. Oh, you're right. Mm, oh, you're right. Well, I'm sorry. Fear will fum. Oh, you're right. Sing with me. Koto tri. Bakutsuno. Tetris. Bakas. Ampara. So quick. And I don't pay so who wonderful. I have for you who try to pay because of the resurrection. A son, oh, sorry, I don't You are clothed with glory. Amen. 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 Turn to your neighbor and say, You look so sweet. Catch the one you are saying, and I don't pay who I for you, and I don't pay who I Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Yesterday and today, the Lord spoke to us through prophecy. I just want to summarize those four prophecies. The first one says, I have given you various gifts to serve me. But because of pain and hurt, you have neglected those gifts. And then he said, change your mind. Tell your neighbor, change your mind. Change it immediately. He said, because I have a reward in my hand for you. He said, I have, I have brought you out of the world to save me. Therefore, give me your entire life and you will never regret. You have come to worship me, the rock of salvation. What I need is your entire life. Give it to me. Give your life to me and you will experience total freedom. Amen. Amen. Then the second one says, this is the time to worship me. In spirit and in truth. Therefore, reject the world system. And walk in my word. For my word is light unto your feet. Lamp unto your path. You profess 
You love me with your mere lips. But I need your heart. Tell your neighbor the Lord leads your heart. Then he said, My coming is at hand. Therefore, get out of the world system. I have called you unto cleanness. And therefore, be clean. If you walk in my word, you will be clean. No question, and, and you will be blessed. Say a bit, Amen. Amen. Then, this is today's prophecy. I am the first and the last. I am the one who died and rose, and behold, I am alive forevermore. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And I know my sheep. And my sheep hear my voice. And they know my name. Amen. Amen. He said, No one should look back. This is the day of salvation. He said, remember, the one who disturbs is still at work, but I have given you my word. Therefore, abide in my word, and you will overcome. And said, I have made all things new. Amen. Therefore, have my word. And live in my word. I have special reward to give unto everyone according to your work. Amen. Amen. Then the last one says, you try to say, as you work for me. I have, a, I have prepared a special reward for you. And I will give according to your, to your work. Almost the same as the previous one. If you walk in my word, you will be all right. Amen. Amen. Let my love dwell in you. And uh, let your service be so sweet, so palatable. Make it so wonderful for people to emulate. Let the new convert behold your character. To come to Christ. Do you recall that I said to you that I have put a place, the church, upon the women? So, what I said, I said, I Many people don't understand what the Lord is saying. He is not saying that you are the foundation, no. But he is saying that he is saying that he has given you special responsibility, said that if you don't do it, the church will not go forward. Let me tell you why the Lord did that. Because women were the first to behold the resurrection of Christ. Because 
Jesus gave her word to go and tell his disciples. So for the Lord to talk to us this way is not out of place at all. So he said, when you go out, go and serve me well. Serve me courageously. Rise up and go and you will not be ashamed. I called you and made you different. So you are more than conquerors. Go and serve me. In the name of Jesus, say a big amen. Amen. Now let's rise to our feet. And let's turn. Our Bibles to the book of Romans chapter 14. Reading at verse 7 through 9. Romans 14. Verse 7 through 9. And it reads, For none of us lives unto himself and none of us dies unto himself for if we live we live to the Lord and if we die we die to the Lord so then whether we live or whether we die we are the Lord's for to this end Christ died and lived again. Christ died and lived again. It's very important. For unto this end, Christ died and lived again. That he might, hallelujah, be Lord both of the dead and of the living. I salute you, Father. Jesus. This morning, have your own way by your spirit. And let your un the understanding Come to your children. Cause them to apprehend and comprehend what you were just about to speak. Oh God, these are the lips and the voice and the tongue that you need to sanctify. Speak with sin. In Jesus' name, I have prayed with thanksgiving, Father. And let the sins of God say amen. Amen. Now, you may be seated in your high places. I want to thank God for the lives of my fellow pastors. Oh, very, very wonderful team. The Lord bless all of them for the good work that He is using them to do in both sectors. The Lord bless their wife as well. Bless the elders, bless the deacons and deaconesses, and bless you. And bless you. And bless all of you. May he bless your house. May he bless your kitchen. May he bless your, your wardrobe. May he bless your account. As you go out and you come in, be blessed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Now, let's come to business. Jesus, the risen Lord. Yes, Christo. Owura was sorry. The name Jesus means salvation. Jesus, For he shall save them from their sins. For him to do that, he must die. So they must live again. This is the entire story. Now, if we look at the very context that we extracted this scripture, 
So your share, I can cast a man. You can kind of imprint print here, here. Paul was speaking to the Christians. Now Paul in the the churches, Christopher, eh, kasa, was sorry, I would Rome. The churches at Rome. Yeah, Roma and sorry anymore. Certain things were going on that were that were not all right. Now and you may be a cosua na chase and yet no quans on no. It wasn't good na and yet for Christians to behave that way. Na a sir a Christopher just say almost suba a chelasa. Now what were they doing? I said Miss Anna said that and you may be and I said yeah no way. They were so much into unnecessary argument, unnecessary bickering. And your man, and who ain't here, and who am fatter, na answer, or no, and I just say, it's in your sure, na a woman. There were weak people who were weak among them, Christians, you know, uh, uh, just converted. They were weak in faith. One of them, what sacra, what do you want for me? Just say, no, we did it a metal. Now, instead of accepting those ones with the love, now as I said, now one of our channel, I did one of our forefathers, we did the Eswanu war, they neglected them, just a war poor war, and rather they turned their hearts onto unnecessary, useless behavior. Now, war poor war, yeah, what the one do you see? And you may be an emphatic answer. They were talking about somebody who loves this kind of food. And because you eat this food, you are not, you are not clean. So I'm about to say, Odono, I feel Adriana and who ain't here. So we dia preparansa aya be info dia ne edi bikura di enkanya na kama ya kama ya enkreni di enka komi ono ena na enka ya ono e who ain't here ena na umuka huasam. Shh, no laughter. Listen, they were do. No, I, I don't like this thing. Sir, where did you pen? Therefore, stop. They sent it tie. And then it, that, they place a kind of obstacle, you know, before that person. Now, after now, what they are should be about to send the panel also. Oh, I like to worship on this day. Me per se, sir, at that way, and I'm a solid one. This day is not good. Sir, that way, the who ain't here. So, because. You are worshiping on the day that I don't like. You are not my brother. I hate you. Oh, what is this? They have neglected the things of God. Fact of the matter is, they were living unto themselves. So they were doing unnecessary things. Things that they were doing were absolutely useless. And Paul came on the scene and said, What? What are you guys doing? Don't you know that? None of us lives unto himself. None of us will ever die unto ourselves. For if we live, we live unto God. And if we die, we die unto him. Nobody should live unto himself. No, what what he's really trying to say? Yeah, and I know a person watching it. That if you dare live unto yourself, you will do silly things. That was the import of the scripture, the message. That was the import. Because they were living unto themselves, they were judging themselves, they were condemning themselves, they were just despising each other. Because of meat and drink and 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 days. So, so Paul said, The kingdom of God is not about meat and drink. 
Osura hinie enya onam ene adidie but it is about righteousness. Na the woman say it was about abobunkuru ene asomudue joy in the holy ghost. Ene yeye honkrukru mu ene die. This is the that is the thing. My brothers, we ene die here minyano. You have digressed. Mo die che say e ma fa pano kura. Don't go there. Mama ko hokura. So the lesson is this. We are not supposed to live unto ourselves. Because if we do that, you will not bear the right fruit. If you dare live unto yourselves, if we dare as a church to live unto ourselves, we will begin to condemn ourselves. We will begin to judge ourselves and we begin to despise ourselves. There will be bickerings and divisions and all that. So living unto yourself is a bad objective. Now, if you have a wrong objective, your attitude will be wrong. Because your attitude go to feed your objective. And your attitude will always de determine your attitude in life. Are you here with me? And so he is saying that don't live unto yourself. Because in the attempt to do that, you will encounter problems and chaos. Don't live unto yourself. In the attempt to live unto ourselves, we will never be satisfied in life. We will never enjoy life. We will not be at peace because the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It's not about condemnation or judging or despising. It is about righteousness. If we dare to live unto ourselves, we will be woefully disappointed. So then Paul had to point them to another thing altogether. To he said, listen, you came from a source. And therefore, your actions must be different. And so he said, whether we live or die, we belong to God. So if you belong to God, you must live unto God and God alone. Those who don't belong to God live unto themselves. But those who belong to God live unto God. Now, as children of God, we are wired to live precious lives. Because our God lives life so precious. And so in the Lord we find our sustenance, our fulfillment and our joy. So we've got to live unto God. We don't have to live unto ourselves because we are fragile beings. We are fragile, we are weak. We are inadequate. We are Incompetent. Yeah, yeah. And we are incapable. 
capable of handling life's mysteries. Hey, life is full of mysteries. Therefore, if you live unto yourself, you will not be able, you are so incapable of handling the mysteries of the world. So, you don't need to live unto yourself. We live unto the one who can handle all mysteries. We live unto the one who knows yesterday, today, and forever. The one who knows what you don't know. The one who knows what the devil don't know. Do you know that? The devil, listen. See, the devil is is curtailed. He's so restricted. And what the devil has not, has not, has not, what the devil has not, listen to me carefully. What the devil has not been prepared for. He, he, he cannot do it. The woman you on to me and yet are you with me? Oh, now what had not occurred to the devil to say? The Emma Obronsam I dream or be cano. God knows it. Are you with me? And so if he knows what the devil had it had not occurred to the devil to say, and you are living unto him. You are in safe hands. And to know, sir, only the abon saman kasam pono on timin kana oba beka edia. Now the woman is saying, "Who are what in edia? No, who are and sir? And yet he said, 'Bamba ensem. So, listen, not one of us must live unto himself or herself. And you can say, 'Obi biara etna se amano ho. We have to live unto God. I say, sir, yeah, your boy abara abara and etna se me wudade. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, live unto God. He said, neither do we die unto ourselves. Why? Because we are, we are transient beings. We don't live forever. How can you live unto yourself? When yourself, 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 will not be yourself later. When you yourself, will not be yourself later. Because we are all strangers on this earth. And very soon we are, we are all going to leave. And the question, how dangerous it is.